Clidio Video Maker tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna be showing you how you can use Clidio Online Video Editor to basically edit a whole video for your TikTok, for your personal use or for your YouTube channel. So firstly, I want you to come on to Clidio.com. Now when you come on to Clidio.com, you can basically see all the different options that they offer. You can merge videos using their software. You can compress videos, add subtitles, which is very, very hard if, if you were to like do it manually. Then you also have the resize option, the cut option, the video maker option, and also the meme option as well, which I'm sure is going to be very popular. Then you have the crop option and also the speed option. Now they even have more tools as well. Like for example, if I were to click on more tools, you can see all the different tools that they offer. Like guys, this is literally Premiere Pro level edit available online. So. Before we dive into the software, let's take a look at the pricing. So they basically offer you two plans. Firstly is $9 per month and you are going to get unlimited videos and you can cancel anytime. But if you were to pay that same amount annually at once, you will save $36 and you will only be charged at the rate $6 per month. So like basically on average, you will be charged that, but you will have to pay $72 up front. So like that is going to save you like, you know, $36 and also you won't be charged monthly. So like that's going to be a big relief. Then you can see that they have been trusted by over 4 million users every single month. So like that's insane. So now let's start with the software. So firstly, let's click on video maker because that is basically the most convenient stuff. So I'm going to basically choose a video from my computer right now in front of you guys to basically like, you know, um, show you how it all works so I'm gonna simply choose this video now they are saying that I need to upgrade my plan because this file is larger than 500 MBs so I'm gonna basically choose another file and then once I choose another file I'm gonna basically like you know simply choose that particular file let it upload and then similarly like once this is uploaded I can like you know have my presets I can work with any format this is gonna work on any device and basically this is gonna be synced throughout all my editors so like for example if I was like you know play this video now I can basically see that this video is basically Basically, it's a very, very simple video actually like there is actually nothing complicated about this particular video so now from the right side I can basically just like you know increase the zoom the crop and anything I can change the aspect ratio as well so like this is really really useful if for example let's say you want to like you know upload it onto YouTube so like what do you do when you want to upload it onto YouTube you simply click on the 16 ratio 9 option and this is going to scale it to YouTube's aspect ratio because like sometimes people really find hard with like, you know, those black bars up and down the videos. So like that way it gets really, really like, you know, not pleasant to look at videos, but this is going to eliminate all of that. So like this is absolutely insane. I must say so. Then you have the option to basically add audio as well from the bottom right. So click on add audio. After that, simply scroll in your computer, choose any music that you want to. I'm going to basically choose um a music track that I have. And once I choose that, it is going to upload. And once this has uploaded, I will basically put it underneath my video. And then I can basically like, you know, resize my video. I can play my video and I will basically hear my song playing underneath. Now I can even trim the audio as well. If like, let's say I want just a portion of that whole song. I don't have to keep the whole song. I can literally keep just a portion of that song and I will be good to go. Like there are no restrictions of any type whatsoever. So like once you have done that, now you can click on add more videos if you want to add more videos. So like I'm going to add this particular video. If it's saying the video is too long, you can simply like, you know, find more videos as well. So like I'm going to do that right now. And I'm gonna basically find more videos. And once I have another video over here, I'm gonna basically wait for a couple of seconds and the video has been uploaded. So now if I were to like, you know, um, click on the play button, well then that is gonna basically play the video. And then also I will be able to see like, you know, the next video that I just added over here after this particular video. So like now that video has basically been uploaded. So like now I will be able to see that particular video. So like, let's wait for a couple of seconds. Once this gets done with, after that, this video is going to play hopefully without any issues whatsoever. So like, uh, there we have that. And now the next video is playing. Like guys, that is super simple, honestly, and there's not much to it. So like, once you have done this, now you can basically like, you know, simply upload this video if you want to. Or you can add a crossfade effect in between these videos. So like if I were to check this box, a crossfade effect has been added. So now what I can do is I can simply like, you know, play this particular video. I can move it a bit backward. 
Now from over here, I'm gonna wait for a couple of seconds again to see if that effect has been added over here as well. Because like you really have to be sure if your effects are actually being added or not. So like, yeah, I think the effect has worked and now the video looks far, far smoother. So once you're happy with a particular video, simply click on the bottom right and click on export. Now, once you click on export, that is basically gonna like, you know, export your video. Now guys, please note that in the free version, you are gonna get a watermark on your videos. If you want to remove the watermark, well then for that, you will basically have to sign up for a subscription. There is unfortunately no other way. And guys, I think it's fair because the services that this particular software is, is offering you guys those services are really really nice and honestly there is absolutely no other video editing software that is going to offer you all those services for absolutely free for just the cost of like you know putting their watermark on your videos so like guys honestly it is not really complicated at all and you can basically like you know create a video and like basically do so much more now let's take a look at their add subtitles options so if i were to click on add subtitles i can click on choose file and once i click on choose file i can again from over here pick any video that i want to so like i'm gonna basically pick a video from over here again from the same folder and once i've chosen that particular video now i will basically be able to see like you know a video over here so now once this video has uploaded I can simply add subtitles or manually if I wanted to. So like over here, let's wait for a couple of seconds. So now you can basically upload an SRT file. Now SRT files are basically files that you can like um, basically get subtitles in and then simply add them automatically on top of a file. You don't have to manually like, you know, do the subs if you have a dot SRT file. If you don't have that file, well, then you will have to do them manually, which honestly is not going to be that much of a work because this offer is pretty simple. Click on add manually. And then from over here, simply like, you know, adjust the duration of the subtitle and then simply start typing in over here on the top right. So like, for example, we have the first subtitle over here, bringing up a YouTuber. So like once I type that in and if I just like simply adjust the timing for that. So like, for example, I wanted to like, you know, basically end over here. So I'm going to simply leave it like that. And then I'm going to basically click on add subtitle. So once I add a subtitle, I'm going to make sure that it starts where the last one ended. And then I'm going to basically type in whatever the next sub is. So over here it is, is quite possibly. So, so I'm going to type both of these things in. And now if I were to like, you know, play this from the start, you guys will basically see that like, you know, it's really nice. So like, for example, we have the first one. So over here, I can see that that basically starts beforehand. So like, I'm going to do that again. Yeah, so like it is very, very smooth. I mean, like honestly, very, very easy because I was actually expecting this to be a bit difficult, but this is super simple. Now, once you have done your subtitle, after that, you can literally save all these subtitles with their timings as an SRT file and simply share it with your friends and family or simply sell it online as an SRT for a movie if you want. Like, for example, you can like subtitle a movie and you can simply sell all those subs for real money. And honestly, people are doing it every single day it is not something out of this world so like definitely you guys can do it as well then guys you basically have some of their more options so you basically have the subtitle you basically have the compatible cloud storage device then you have some more options over here as well and also the resources too so like honestly it is not that difficult to get started with Cledio. And this was the basic overview that you guys honestly needed. And after this, I'm sure you guys will be able to get started quickly with Cledio without any trouble. So guys, this was the video. And if this video helped you out, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.